close video a contestant on Tuesday's Game of Jeopardy! had one of the most disappointing games in recent memory, scoring so low that he did not even qualify for the final Jeopardy! round. Matt King, a lawyer from Louisville, TX, got off to a strong start but ultimately ended the game with a negative score of minus $6,400, marking one of the lowest scores in the show's history. Yahoo Entertainment notes that the player was strong on questions in the football category, an area that others have struggled with in the past. However, his sports knowledge wasn't enough to give him an overall total capable of beating out his competition. Because he was in the negative space going into Final Jeopardy, host Ken Jennings was forced to inform him that he was not eligible to continue in the game. Matt, I'm afraid you took your swings, said Jennings. That's a strategy. It didn't always pay off. You were close so many times, but we're gonna have to say goodbye to you here. You'll finish in third place with $1,000. The outlet reports that, by the time he was done, King had only answered 8 out of 18 clues he buzzed in on correctly. While the score was certainly among the lowest seen in a game of Jeopardy! It was just shy of breaking the record for the worst score ever, which was set over the summer during guest host LeVar Burton's run behind the podium. Patrick Pierce, product specialist from Fountain View, California, had a less than stellar performance and ended up raking in the lowest score in Jeopardy! History with minus $7,400. According to Slate, the minus $7,400 finishing total breaks the record previously set in March of 2015 by contestant Stephanie Hull, whose poor performance on Jeopardy! earned her minus $6,800. Meanwhile, the game ultimately went to Amy Schneider. She is now a five-day Jeopardy! champion with a total of $170,400 in prize money since beginning her winning streak on Wednesday. Because she's won five games, she is officially eligible for the show's Tournament of Champions, where she will compete against similar winners from the last two seasons of the show, including the No. 2 player of all time, Matt Amodio, 